Alrighty, welcome back to my channel, Taurus. Let's go ahead and see what the next 72 hours is going to look like for you energy-wise. Of course, if you want your own personal reading, just check out the information listed in the description, and I will have the extended version of this listed right above it in my description box. So just check there. But let's go ahead and get straight into it. So the energy that I feel around you for this time frame, it feels like you guys are separating yourself from all the BS. You're making it a point to do that, whether that's at your job, there's drama, um, whether there's family drama, like anything that removes you from your focus, your plans, the things that you desire to accomplish just within January as a whole, um, maybe drawing you to just kind of remove your energy from participating in certain things, even showing interest in certain things as well. Um, this is you also coming into a space of like accepting things that you've walked away from and the importance in doing so. Like things are finally starting to come, becomes full circle essentially with you being able to see like, yeah, it was a good thing for me to kind of separate myself from said situation or said person. I think I kind of made a video about this before um, where I think I titled it, you dodged a bullet or something like that. So I think that spirit is kind of bringing that up again. Like the epiphany, it just keeps coming to you in terms of you needing to stay away from that individual after removing yourself from that situation. Now, Hmm. Okay, so I also get the energy of somebody thinking about you a lot. And in turn, like with them thinking about you so much, you could be thinking about them too. It's like this weird communication thing that's happening within the ethers in a sense. In a sense, excuse me. It feels like you guys are just like telepathically delivering messages to each other. Like you could almost... I don't want to say hear their thoughts, but you could almost hear hear what they want to say to you sometimes. And I see this for like specific individuals where it's like you have such a tight bond with this individual and this is like a, a soulmate or something like that, that you guys could be communicating with each other in the ethers. But moving beyond that, um, yeah, somebody may have you on their mind a lot during this time frame. I also get the energy of it also being you guys where... You can't help but to wonder what's going on with someone who you haven't spoken to. And it's like this weird mirroring energy that you guys are definitely going to have to try to shake off if that's not warranted or, or wanted, excuse me. Um, I'm also seeing something here about communication. There may be communication issues. This could be like blockages within the throat chakra where a lot of you aren't really speaking up for yourself. You could be choosing to bite your tongue essentially where you know certain people are trying you, certain people are trying to pull the wool over your eyes. You could be really trying your best to bite your tongue or not respond in a way where you feel like, I don't know, people are going to start looking at you like, okay, how do I say this? The person who could be doing this to you, you could be trying to refrain from speaking up for yourself so that they don't try to make it seem like you're crazy for feeling the way that you feel. Like I just get that energy where you guys are, are just trying to avoid the conflict aspect of speaking up for yourself and voicing how you feel. So you could be biting your tongue a lot during this time frame. But... I want to get more in depth with this energy. Let's go ahead and flip the camera and see what's going on. Like I said, I will have the extended version over there for my Patreons. Definitely join if you aren't a Patreon already. I don't know why you're not joined up or why you're not signed up already. And yeah, all that will be below. And let's go ahead and flip the camera and see what's going on. Taurus, let's go ahead and see what now until the fifth has in store for you. Hold on. 
Nothing like a good shuffle. All right. So the first card is going to represent the current theme. And I have the Five of Swords, which is the win or lose way. Okay, so there could be this energy of like your mind kind of playing tricks on you. And when I say this, this could be like your mind creating doubt in your head before you even start, let's say, a business. Your mind could be like, well, what if you start this business and it's not successful? What if you do this, then this outcome happens? And it could be more so your mind trying to like trick you, um, plant bad seeds. And that's anxiety. That's worry that's fear that could be controlling the source of those thoughts so you want to be aware of that and if you are having those moments understand that those thoughts will pass you just want to make sure you're not making permanent decisions in being flustered mentally like that um another thing i kind of see with this energy uh there could be somebody who you're starting to see yeah they're very freaking manipulative and at this point there's nothing that you can do to kind of change the way that they move with you um, you could be tired of feeling like you are genuine with somebody, but the other individual is like really nasty or like really spiteful. So you could be like removing your energy from someone who you feel like is is like that towards you or just petty and argumentative. Um, I also get the energy of... Some of you like trying to bypass like this subconscious fear you have to connect to people, whether that's friendship wise or even just in a relationship sense. Some of you are like really fearful to connect with people when you shouldn't be. You just need to co uh, connect with people who are more so connect to your soul tribe. Some of you have been connecting with the wrong individuals because they don't align with your energy. Now, what I see in regards to love I have the will of fortune so there's some sort of shift or change that's taking place in that arena this could be for the positive or this could be for the worse usually this is for better the will of fortune is a very positive card and with the world card and also the three of cups there may be some sort of shift where like a love interest that you thought you and that person will never be able to mend things you guys may get back on good standing and could be having conversations um like trying to spark up things again um also there may be some sort of shifting your love life in the sense of like a friend becomes like a lover there could be somebody who you were always were interested in but you guys only kept it on a friendship level and then things manifest into something more serious or you may even meet somebody through mutual friends. Hmm. Yeah, this person may be from like a different part of the world. Some of you guys may meet somebody who lives long distance. Or you've been dating somebody who lives long distance and then now you guys are going to like move in together like I just see some sort of shift that's happening in love but when I take a look at your career and finances we have the page of wands and um this is pretty positive um for a lot of you you could have some brilliant ideas that are manifesting and that are coming forth and you could be wanting to explore them but you could be feeling like maybe you need to do more research or maybe you need um, the financial backing. So what I will say is with any creative ideas that you have, you don't necessarily have to act on them immediately, but definitely write them down for later whenever you do feel like, okay, maybe let's explore this or explore that. Um, also, this is like irritation. I do see a little bit of irritation when it comes to creative things. There could be like technological um, glitches like we are in the shadow period of Mercury retrograde. Um, so there could be like technical issues. Um, there could be personal stuff going on in your life that could be throwing you off in regards to your career. So that's something to be attentive of as well. But yes, that's what I see. Now, advice for you, I do have the Queen of Swords. 
Um, so this is making sure with any choices, decisions that you make during this time frame that you really think it through, that you're applying a level of logic, not just feelings, not just emotional moments that you may go through, making decisions in that moment. Um, also, this is speaking your mind, like in your relationship, if you want to keep it together, I think that you need to speak your mind in regards to what you're not happy about and you and your person work towards fixing it. Um, also, this is like making it clear to somebody who has manipulative tendencies where like they do toxic stuff like uh ghost you and then call you when they get the sense of you moving on or you not being interested in them anymore you need to set them straight because they'll just keep trying to manipulate you and suck you back in like that if you don't put your foot down Now, what I see in regards to the outcome with the Seven of Wands, um, you could have a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo give you a hard time. Um, if not specifically that zodiac sign, you could be either feeling a level of stress because you have so much stuff that you have to do work-wise or so much stuff that you have to take care of financially, or this is you being stressed out in regards to love, somebody acting really hard to to work with your husband your wife the person you may live with okay um for a lot of you also this is like you trying to overcome personal struggles that you may have this could be struggles with eating struggles with self-esteem um you could be realizing how that could have a lot to do with where you're at right now and what could be standing in between you getting to where you want to be so I want to go deeper with this energy on the other side. If you want to see the rest of this reading, definitely join me on Patreon and I will see you there.